All right, so now for brand new agents, we're shifting gears. Unless there's some question from returning agents on where to get to that one place right there. Again, it's real simple, a few modules to click through and then 10 questions and you'll be golden. You'll be ready to go. All right, so let's shift gears and let's go to brand new agents who are here to the marketplace. Let me pull up my slides here. <clears throat> What we're going to do here is I'm going to go through a PowerPoint slide. You're going to get a pen and piece of paper and write down certain things as we go through this to make sure that it's really simple for you. So I want you to see the process first, and that's what these slides are. are going to take us through the process of getting registered. And then after we get through this, we're going to go live, and I'm going to ask for a guinea pig who has never registered before. And we're going to use your information and we're going to go step by step along the way while everybody registers together. Okay. So everybody be patient. Take a deep breath. This is a government process. Um, and we will make it through. I promise we will make it through. So the first place, first place you're going to want to go is portal.cms.gov. So write that down, portal.cms.gov. I use a Google Chrome. It tends to work pretty good on Google Chrome if you're wondering what browser you should use. Um, I've not heard of anybody really having issues with Safari or anything either. So um, if you are a returning user and have just seen what we went through, you can be dismissed and go and, and do your thing, okay? Very good. So first place for brand new agents. That's what we're here for right now, brand new agents. First place to go is portal.cms.gov. Write that down. Once you click on that, you will see the login screen, but if you scroll to the bottom there, it's a, a, a button that you click. It says new user registration. If you've never registered before for the ACA, new user registration. Now, if you registered and did the ACA three years ago, you're not gonna be able to do a new user registration. You will have to call in and get your password reset and everything through CMS. Okay, um, but if you've never registered before, click new user registration. So that's the second thing you're going to write down. Once you click new user registration, we're going to select our application. On the drop down, we scroll down to where it says federally facilitated marketplace, FFM, <coughs> excuse me, request for MLMS training. So write that down, Federally Facilitated Marketplace, FFM, because that's our application. Select our application. Again, we're going to go through this live. Right now, we're just going through the slides to see exactly what we're going to be doing. So once we click on the FFM right there, it takes us to agree to the terms and conditions of everything in there. We hit next after we agree. And then you'll start putting in some of your personal information to register. Once you complete the personal information there, we'll click next. After we hit next, we will have to create our login and password and set up a security question for our profile. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, user IDs are um, sometimes tricky. If you have a name that you're trying to use that is like Bob Smith, that is probably a thousand Bob Smiths on there, you'll have to be a little bit more creative with your user ID. I use just my first initial last name with the number one. 
Some people use their full HST email or personal email, um, which goes straight to you. So you can use your email as a user ID if you want. The other thing that's tricky is the password. They'll tell you that you cannot use any kind of dictionary word as a password. And so you'll have to be creative with it and know that you're going to have to change this password every six months, okay? It's, a, it's required. Every six months, this password has to change. So anytime you have a login and password, you're writing these things down, you're keeping them in a safe, secure place <coughs> outside of just your computer because sometimes computers fail or you're at a different computer and you need to access your information. So make sure you're writing and have a system of keeping all your passwords and logins in a separate place. I have a spreadsheet of all my logins and passwords and I print that off every once in a while, keep it separate. It came in handy last month when I uh, ac accidentally <laughs> left my computer in Florida and had to have it overnight shipped back to me in, uh, in Missouri. So that was a lot of fun. It was a $220 mistake, uh, but we are lost without our computer, that's for sure. So I was able to still work that day because I had my logins and passwords separate. So just keep that stuff uh, separate there and especially your security questions and stuff, keep them simple. But we're going to put and create your user ID and password and we'll hit next and we'll confirm and submit the user there and hopefully everybody gets this right here that says congratulations confirmation that's what we're all going for. And we think oh we're done no that's only the first step now we go to log in okay because now using those credentials that you just created the login and password we will have to go back out. And now we'll use those credentials to log in. Everybody, this is new this year, everybody, once you hit log in here, you will have to choose whether you're going to have an email or a text and they'll send you a code. It's a two multi-factor authentication uh, for every time you log in, okay? So you'll choose what device you want to log in or send that code to. You'll have that code sent there. You'll put the code in like you just saw me do with Christy on hers. Um, when we first started, you'll put your code in and then it will log you in. It will welcome you to the portal again. And then we'll click down there where it says uh, you can request your access to this application by clicking here, requesting access to the application by clicking there. We don't add an application here. We've already added that we wanted the FFM, right? So now we click there and we see that our application is listed there. Now we have to select our role. We select our role, which is agent broker training access. So you need to write that down, select role, agent broker training access. We put that in, click next. And it's going to go through a process of verifying your identity, okay? It wants to make sure you are who you say you are. It will be scary to see what questions they ask you because the government knows everything about you, right? Um, so we'll complete the identity, identity uh, verification. We hit launch. We agree that they can do these things. We hit next, accept the terms and conditions, hit next. And then you'll put some personal information in again. You'll have to also make sure that you're putting in your social at this time, because that's how they're going to verify you by these things, okay? So your information, your social, all that information there, and then it'll take you to the questions to verify your identity, okay? Once you do that, hopefully everybody gets this little sign right here that says, 
congratulations, confirmation has been done. You are who you say you are, and it will let you move forward. I promise you, since we have 70 people here in the class, there are going to be people that it stops you and will not verify your identity. You'll have to call in to Experian. They will verify you and you'll come back to this step right here, okay? Um, I promise you there's gonna be people here that that will happen to. So we're pretending everybody's got confirmed. You are who you say you are. It will take us back here. Sometimes at that point, you have to log out and log back in the system for it to catch up with you and recognize everything you just did, okay? Um, but it shows right here, completed identity verification. And then we have to enter a reason for our request. The reason for request is we want marketplace certification. So write that down, reason for request is marketplace certification, okay? I don't know why they're asking that again. We've already asked to be part of the FFM, Federally Facilitated Marketplace Training, uh, but here they're asking it again. We want marketplace certification. We hit submit. That's a point that they're gonna give you a confirmation number and you'll need to write that application ID down just in case you have any issues going forward. Uh, where you call in CMS and say, here's my application ID to do all this, you'll write that number down. So write the confirmation number down whenever you get to this point. You think you're done verifying everything, but you're not. Again, sometimes the system lags in catching up to where you're at. So you may have to log out and log back in. If you seem like you get stuck, and it's not moving forward, always go to the top left where it says cms.gov. You can click there at the top left of your screen. It will refresh everything for you, okay? And take you back to where you need to be. So keep that in mind. That's a little helpful tip right there. Top left, cms.gov, click on that right there and it will take you back and refresh as if you just logged in again. So the thing we're wanting to get is when we get here, you saw this too, you log in, this is the screen that'll come to, you'll hit the square there that says marketplace training agent broker. You'll scroll down to where it says MLMS training and click that. And then you have to put in more of your information. And we'll go step by step through this portion when we get to the live step by step process with everybody. But you'll put information in there once you save this information, um, where you have to have your national producer number to put in. And you have to put in what days and what times that you're potentially available for the marketplace. All that information right there will save it. And that's the point that it will take us to where we actually get to our modules, okay? So that's just a quick little overview, step-by-step -step slideshow of to get us to where the modules are and get us registered. Fair?